Kitty. I was just about to go back to the castle to fire up my hot tub. Really? Yes. And as for chaperones, naturally I always have a lifeguard on duty. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Cut. Print. Perfect. Outstanding, everybody. I laughed. I cried. I had puppies. Yes. Good job. Okay, we're finished. We got everything we need in the can for the park today. So we'll take an hour lunch. And then don't come back here. We'll meet at the castle set, okay? We'll finish up the day there. Good work, people. We'll see you in one hour. You ready for lunch? Sure. Was I okay in that last shot? You? You were great. Why? I don't know. Something about Vlad. I've never worked with anyone like him before. How so? Well, in between takes, we were just standing around making small talk. Mm -hmm. And I kept noticing that he was staring at my neck. <laughs> He's just he gave me the creeps. <laughs> He's just staying in character. He has great concentration. He's yet to blow his line, lose his place, anything. He's a real pro. Okay, so he's a pro. So what am I? You? You have a beautiful neck. <laughs> <laughs> you? Yeah, I know. I was wondering if one or both of you ladies would like to run some lines with me. No thanks, Vlad. Beth and I always take lunch together. Uh, yeah, maybe Vlad would like to run some of our lines. Maybe. How about it, Vlad? Interested in a little nose candy? I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, my. You really are a virgin, aren't you? <laughs> are you sure we're not keeping you from lunch? <laughs> no, I'm on a liquid diet. But as for your nose candy, I'll try anything once. Okay. Pam, this guy doesn't give me any reflection. <gasps> Just like a real... Hi, Vlad. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was just going over tomorrow's shooting script. Well, I just came by to tell you I thought you did a great job on the set today. Thank you. Um, do you need help taking your makeup off? No, thank you. I do it myself at home. <laughs> just like Lon Chaney. Oh, yeah. Wasn't he on the Fall Guy? <laughs> he was the original Fall Guy. <laughs> oh. You're such an attractive young woman. I am surprised that you are not an actress. Why, thank you. No, I don't have any interest in acting, but I do hope to direct one day, though. I'm sure you'd be very good at it. Are you sure there isn't anything I can do to help you? Would you like to run some lines with me? Yeah, I sure would. It always surprises me how easy it is with you American women. You saying I'm easy? No, no, I meant no offense. I only meant that American women are friendly and open. Where are you from? I am European. Really? I've been to Europe. What country? I believe you call it Transylvania. Oh, yeah. Isn't that where... Yes, it is. The next day's production was stopped. Three actresses failed to show up. Who did show up was my ex-partner, Detective Greg Toller, and his rookie partner. They questioned Chaz and I about the women, but uh, we couldn't tell them much. Chaz said one of the girls used to have a drug problem. The rookie wasn't pleased, but Greg took it in stride. I went in the file missing persons report. The rookie got the idea in his head that I was trying to drub up some publicity stunt for myself. Greg backed me up, but uh, the rookie was adamant. Greg told him to wait in the car. And, uh, well, Chaz had other things to do. Greg and I talked confidentially. I asked him to run a background check on the cast and crew. Everyone checked out. Everyone except one man, the one who had been hopscotching the country for the past five years after coming from parts unknown in Europe. The man was Vladimir. There are people out there who need help, but don't have anyone with the right skills and knowledge to turn to for help with their taxes. You or your organization can be there for someone who needs help. 
volunteer your time, and the IRS will volunteer the training to help make someone's taxes less taxing. McGruff here. I want you to learn a song that tells people to say no to drugs. Users and losers and losers and users. I don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. Come on. If you know a user even part of the time, tell them to quit, take a bite out of crime. Users and losers and losers are users. So don't use drugs. Don't use drugs. Now, teach it to everybody and help take a bite out of crime. When friend fell, he called for help. But the only ones there were ignorance, incompetence, indifference. Friend called for help again. Confusion came instead. At last, help came. Help knew what to do. In times of emergency, are you help? Learn Red Cross First Aid, where you work or call your local chapter. Everywhere around the world, they come to America. When 17 million desperate people came to America, they came here to Ellis Island first. Half of all Americans have ancestors who passed through here. Age, weather, and vandalism have wrecked it. Donations are needed for its restoration. If you still believe in all they accomplished, send your contribution to Ellis Island Foundation, P.O. Box Ellis, New York 10163. Thanks for walking me out. My pleasure. With all that happened, I believe that safety should be uppermost in people's minds. You're right. Some people would just walk around with their heads in the clouds. They're always the victims. Very true. Donna, I was wondering if you could help me with the script for tomorrow. I was hoping we could run some lines. Oh, I'm sorry, Vlad, but I promised my boyfriend I'd cook him dinner tonight. I understand completely. Perhaps another time. Sure, any time. I'll see you tomorrow. Do you have difficulty? Yeah, it won't turn over. It's a brand new battery, too. Well, perhaps you'd allow me to give you a jump. Yeah, thanks. I'm just finishing up now. No, I won't stay much later. Yes, I'll be careful and I'll leave you the notes on the desk. Right, I've just received the definitive research book on the origins of The Legend of Dracula. Okay, talk to you tomorrow. The Legend of Dracula dates back to 14th century Europe. A transmitting count ruled the country with his reign of terror. He skewered, ew, his victims and placed their heads on poles outside the castle walls. It was said at the time that he drank the blood ew, of his victims to stay young. Being an albino, the sun was hard on his skin and eyes. He was able to function in daylight, but he much preferred to do his killing after the sun went down. His name was Vladimir Kolenko, but his enemies knew him as Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler. Vladimir T. Pelor. I don't believe it. At your service. <laughs> nice costume. <laughs> I wouldn't talk if I were you. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a dog. <laughs> Good job, Vlad. Hey. Morning, Larry. Good morning, Bill. Say, is there blood in your neck, Larry? Yes. I cut myself shaving. <laughs> I should be more careful. Bill! Come on up here. We're just getting ready for the final shot. Sure. 
Okay, we're going to rehearse the scene one more time, then we go for a take. You two ready? I'll get out of your way. Okay, great. Okay, ready? Action. My darling, I have not been totally honest with you. I must tell you my secret. Yes, go on. I know you think I am a rich Playboy star car racer, but that is not the truth. The truth is that I am one of the undead. You mean that you're an accountant? No, my dear. I am a vampire. So you're saying this would be a mixed marriage? Yes, darling. A mixing of our blood. Okay. Cut. Great job. Let's get it on film. Cut. Sarah, get away from him. He really is a vampire. So, dear, you found out my little secret. But I'm afraid it's too late for your leading lady, and for you. Come to me, my young writer. Let me give you the taste of eternal life. No, oh, no, please, anything but that. Why me? Why, why are you doing this? Because... I have lived for centuries with the knowledge that I was the greatest villain mankind has ever known. Today my reputation is tarnished, almost beyond repair. I am a joke to people today, not a menace to be fought. In this decadent, decaying society, you call Hollywood, I have found the tools which with I shall reclaim my greatness. You have propped up your Jasons, your Freddies, to be your modern heroes. While I, a Transylvanian original, have languished. No more. I will wait no more. I will be the greatest film star of them all. I am here, and I am taking over. for the part of one of the townspeople. We are very excited about this project. We had a lot of fun making the first one. I'm sure the sequel will be just as big a hit. Now, if you'll turn to page four. The forest is home to many living things. That's why, if you're careless with fire when you go to the forest, you could burn a lot more than trees. John Fitzgerald Kennedy do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I will faithfully execute the office of the presidency of the United States. The office of the presidency of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. The Constitution, the words we live by. It was like walking on the side of the devil. I don't know how I got there. But I sold everything for cocaine. Took away my self-esteem, my desire to live. Anyone that says cocaine's not addictive, they lie. I got suicidal, crazy. I was wilted like a flower. I don't want to bargain with my life anymore. Call 1-800-662-HELP.